Okay, one of the places I want to talk about real quick is a Texas City Dyke. Now, this is a very common and popular spot to fish. And, um, you know, and this is, and so this is kind of for people who haven't really fished flounders too much or aren't too familiar with the area. But we'll just quickly run through some key points. We'll just quickly run through some key points and um, some key spots that you can fish at the dike. Now, if you have a north wind blowing coming from this direction, this area right here is always great to bank fish, weight fish. See so right here, you have rocks along this side and you have rocks along this side as well. So good area to come out, bank fish, weight fish, kayak, you can come out here and kayak. You'd have to be careful with the wind, make sure you don't have any strong south winds. But you can even come out to this area out here and fish along these rocks. Just keep in mind, there's boats that um, come in and out of this water. So you just want to keep your eye on it. Uh, another good wade fishing or kayak fishing spot is along this north side right here. Now you have these rocks all along this area. And uh, you do, like I said, you just want to be, be safe, be careful. Um, you could have some of the waves that rogue waves that do come in off this way from some of those larger um, vessels going in and out the channel but this whole area right here is good to wade um, there's a few deep spots so keep that in mind when you're out there venturing out uh, there's other apps that you can use and um, that you can use to get the depth so to make sure that you're safe or simply use your depth finder if you're in a kayak but one of the other things if you are bank fishing just come along this areas with all the rocks like I said they love structure so you can come along all these areas where you see any kind of rock formations um, and uh, boat ramps are always good you can catch flounder all around any kind of structure I was out here the other day and had a few bites over here um, so any kind of rocks like I said good area any kind of rocks good area to fish for flounder any kind of structure so you can come out here bank fish out here on the rocks simply park your car come out here um, this area right here is also good to come out and walk like I said just be careful uh, take the proper precautions you can see some of the deeper holes deeper spots come out here and wade the area or simply bank fish if the tide's low enough you could fish off this island but you know you have these put-ins for these boat launches another little pier that you can walk on both sides any kind of decking anything with the like I said with structure that you could come down in this area as well let's go further down now the dike is a great place just because there's so much so many different possibilities so much different fish moving around there's another area right here and come over here fish some of this fish bank fish there's a pier here it's always good to jig and walk across any of these piers that are attached to a boat launch that's not a boat launch but you know what I mean so you're at the end of the dike right here right this is a great spot right in here to get out here and wade fish or simply bank fish especially if you come to the rocks but keep in mind like I said you have these large vessels coming in and out here that will cast waves large vessels coming in and out here that would cast waves as well so you just really have to keep your head on a swivel and, and take care of yourself but this is a great spot out here to come out here and wade fish and try to catch some flounders you know even here near the boat ramp you could come over here and bank fish and try to catch some of these flounders hanging around these structures flounders love structure I mean you can come here and then work this whole entire ledge on both sides just keep in mind try to watch out for the for those for those boaters coming in and out when you are fishing off the rocks 
anywhere from two to about eight feet out four feet four to six feet really seems like the sweet spot but anywhere in here is a great place to fly flounders great place especially if you have that water clarity you can really see where some of those rocks are uh, get a, if you have a good set of polarized sunglasses you can see some of the rock shape to try to fish around them either throwing artificials or throwing live mullet or live mud minnows just a great spot right here to uh, to fish Got a baby, a little guy, pink gulp, right there in the mouth. You know, you have a rock formation all the way around here. So I like the I like the dike. I like fishing to the dike. One of the one of the reasons why I do enjoy fishing the dike is because whether you have if you have winds coming from the north, see we'll turn around here. But so if you have winds coming from the north then cast for the south this south can be cleaner if you got wind strong winds coming from the south then this side is much cleaner and much clearer so it kind of gives you no matter which direction the winds blowing you're gonna you can always assure that you can have it to your back unless it's going just straight east or straight west then you're kind of you know then you're kind of in the wind no matter what you do but yeah just a great spot to fish um Great family spot. Come out, bring the barbecue, hang out, or you can do simply what I did the other day. I came out here for a quick two, three hour session, and I was in and out, got my fishing done, came in and out, scouted the area a little bit. But yeah, the dike is a great spot to fish. Another spot, and I'm I'm I might get I might catch a little heat for sharing this information, but it really doesn't matter. I, in my mind, everybody knows about these locations. And if you don't know and you're an, uh, an out-of-towner or just simply somebody who just really hadn't fished the area, well, then, I, you know what? You should know. You should know. So that's what I'm telling you. But anywhere in here is great for flounder this time of year. It's also great for trout as well. So we're going to scoot down Skyline Drive. These... This is like a this is a levee. I believe this is a levee. It looks like a levee to me. We're gonna call it a levee. So you have this levee, right, protecting this side of the water, protecting this side of the land. Um, you know, you can come down here. You can bank fish this whole area. You, I wouldn't wade fish it. You can come down here and put your kayak in, and you have all these different marsh systems down here as well. All this area down here to fish, and they will hold reds and they will hold trout. And they will definitely hold flounders. But down here you got Moses Lake and you have the floodgates. So this structure right here, current comes in and out. I would try to I would really stick away from this. There's no way you could wait fish this area, but I would really stay away from it if you were in a kayak as well. But that being said, bank fishing all the way around here, especially when you have the current going in and out, you can easily hook up to some nice it's a great place to hook up to some nice nice fish and a great place to try to come get some flounders. Now, you do have some of these trails. I will watch out for snakes and mosquitoes definitely this time of the year. Um, don't really have to worry about the mosquitoes, but I'll definitely watch out the snakes. But you can come out here and wade fish or simply bank fish all along this whole area, all along here. Now, in the past, I've had tremendous amount of success coming down here and catching some flounders down here in this area and around here. Um, the water was low, so we were wade fishing back then. But yeah, I've, I've even launched, put in here, come down here, paddle out, come through here with my kayak, and come out and fish this whole area. There's just a lot of area to come out here and explore and to fish. But if you're not in a kayak and you are bank fishing, I would definitely bank fish along this. Just be careful. Like I said, you have tide and current. I'm not too sure what the drop off is here because I've never ventured out in my kayak in this area. But you can 
you see all these trails allows you to access these banks but you know some more more great areas to fish more great spots to hit up all along this whole area all along this Texas City Dyke area uh, just go out and explore a little bit you know take the little bit of information I've given you and turn it into your own and see what you can come up with see if you can uh, get out there and catch the, that big flatty that big trophy personal best flounder that you really want to catch this time of the year